everybody. I hope you're doing well and having a really, really lovely day so far today. Um, this Sunday sermon is coming to you on Monday instead. Um, I hope you enjoy it. The energies have partly been knocking me out. Um, there's been a couple other things going on for me in the past couple days, but yeah, I am not normally like this with, um, the full moons. Uh, I've heard from others, um, Doreen Bertiu, I know she talks about this pretty often, that the full moon energies can really mess up your sleep's um, schedule and patterns and so forth. And I had kind of experienced it, but not really. This weekend was something else. <laughs> For me, after uploading everything on Saturday, I had an amazing Saturday, and then Sunday, it was really, um, I'll back up, um, this is Kristen Norris <laughs> from Shape uh, Your World Coaching, and um, yeah, thank you for being with me as ever. Um, so yeah, I, I had an incredible Saturday, and then Sunday, my energy levels were just kind of, all over the shop, and um, part of what I am realizing is there's been some deep, a couple deeper things going on for me, so I've cleared that for myself this morning, and with my energy work and so forth, and my, my daily practice, um, which always sorts me out, I feel so much better, so much better, um, but it was interesting that that coincided with everything with the full moon and and in the eclipse. We also had an eclipse on Saturday, and there may be some of you who were affected by that also. Um, and so long story short, my energy's been all over the place, and uh, in terms of my sleeping has been completely messed up. Um, I'm still, I'm kind of, I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm getting back on track. Today, I had a huge clearing out um, with my energy work for myself this morning. Um, so I'm getting back on track. But but just to say, if you did find yourself affected in any way, it's not just you. <laughs> Definitely not just you. And I'm finding it interesting also. Um, you might hear there are church bells in the background. Um so I'm literally in the G. I'm literally across the road from an old, um, might be medieval church. Um, anyhow, another thing I'm wondering about is if there's also an element of as my energy is getting higher um, and shifting and so forth, if things such as the full moon may be affecting me more. It's possible, and I'll look into it. So, you know, there are... I guess that's part part of the message for today is that if there are things affecting you or as your life goes, as you go on your own healing journey and your energy levels change and so forth, if there are circumstances that um, maybe didn't affect you previously but are starting to now, don't, how do I say this, don't feel bad about it. <laughs> don't get down on yourself because you know it can be easy if you're if you're like me in any way and how I was um, in my past I'm so grateful I don't do this anymore I'm so grateful um, but you know you may be working your way through your own journey and if you're anything like I was um, my immediate instinct used to be to blame myself to say, I've done something wrong. It must be some, you know, some fault of mine. And I'm really, really grateful to know that although there is an element, you know, and I, and I still, I always look within because one of the tenets of the way this universe works is that that which we feel inside will be reflected by the world around us and vice versa. Um, so although I always still check within, I don't automatically assume it must be, oh, it's my fault, I've done something wrong, or blah, 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 you know? Um, and so it's that simple shift, that, that simple, quick little shift in how you view things and how you see it, um, you know, the, is the glass half full or half empty? 
et cetera. Um, so I hope that helps. You know, not everything is always our fault. <laughs> You know, and maybe it's just something we can learn to work with the energies a bit more. Um, so that things such as, to take the full moon example, so it doesn't affect us in the same way. You know, so I just, I offer and I, I encourage to you a little, um, a little bit of encouragement along your journey and to not be so hard on yourself. And, you know, there's one, there's a tenant I learned um, during my coaching training days that I've always kept with me, because I love how they put it. Um, I've always believed this, but I just love the way that they, they personally stated it. And it's that um, there is no such thing as failure. There is only feedback. I'll say it again. There is no such thing as failure. There is only feedback. And by that, it means, you know, this life, this journey we're on, we are all here to learn. That's one of our purposes for being on this earth and in these bodies and in this world at this particular space and moment in time. We choose our journeys. That might not make sense. Um, and so I'll just, because it's a, it's a, it, it can be a bigger subject. So I'll just briefly touch on it. And say that we each have the ability to decide how and in what ways things will or will not affect us. We truly, truly do. We have that ability. Even things that seem completely out of your control, you know, and there's a lot that I, I completely get it, <laughs> that can feel very out of control right now and outside of your control, but something that is within your control and we can each do this for and with ourselves, is we can decide, what am I going to do with this? Yeah, someone's coming at me. Yeah, things in the world, um, you know, it could be, it can feel over, it could feel overwhelming. Um, yeah, maybe that project at work didn't go so well. Or, yeah, you know, my kids are behaving particularly badly lately or, <laughs> you know, whatever it is. Um, but we can all choose and decide for ourselves how and if those things are going to affect us. And part of that ties into your own energy, your particular energy levels, and getting really getting to grips with and figuring out how to help yourself with your own energetic and personal and emotional boundaries. Boundaries are so key, and, and that feels, I'm feeling very guided to um, help all of you with this a bit more, so I'm going to be doing a series of videos um, just to help out, um, you know, I'm, I'm, yeah, so I won't say too much more on that, but, but look out for it, because it's something that is so crucial for all of us, whether you consider yourself a light worker, whether you're I don't know, maybe you're a lawyer, whether you're, um, you know, a stay-at-home parent, father or mother, um, whether you're a young person out, you know, finding your way in the world, whatever your position, you know, whether you're the CEO of a big company, whatever it is that is your particular path and journey, figuring out how to not let things other people do affect us and how to not let external circumstances affect us or stop us or push us back or hold us back from really being able to step into and fully embrace our journeys, our missions, why we're here in this life. That is a huge gift. It is a huge gift to be able to figure out. And it's something I, I'm really grateful I'm grateful for everything, but part of what I'm grateful for is that in my own life, personal life journey, I've had many opportunities <laughs> to learn about this and to figure out how to really step into my power, but also how to hold myself 
and to keep myself, you know, not disconnected from others, but how to not let what the world and anyone else around me, how to not let those things stray me from my path. Um, quite a few of my clients, I'm having a lot of conversations with others as well. This is coming up for a lot of us, and a lot of people are realizing, um, a lot of souls are souls and spirits in our world, each and, you know, you may be one of those watching and listening to this. We are all, in our own ways, waking up to why we're here, what we are meant to be doing, really feeling more and more that our time and our moment is now, and if we want to make this world a better place for everyone, we need to step up now, and, you know, in whatever way we can, in whatever way, you know, it could be um, helping a child with their homework, you know, because the children are the future, <laughs> it's not just, you know, a, a song, um, that is part of it, you know, it might be if you're a community worker, or, um, you know, work at a charity, or it might be, you know, you're going to be giving a TED talk, what am I going to speak about? You know, there's so many ways that we can touch others and help others and, and to really step into our purpose. And part of that, part of what comes with that are our opportunities to learn how to also take care of yourself. You know, there's a tenant that, um, I'm trying to remember how it goes. There are a few different ways to put it, but one of them you may have heard is that, you know, we can't help anyone if our, our own personal glass is empty, meaning our energy levels, our reserves. We can't help anyone if we're depleted is another way to put it. Or, um, you know, on airplanes as part of the, the safety procedures, they always say, you know, in case of an emergency and that, you know, if the, the airbags come down with oxygen, they always tell you, make sure you put yours on first, even before children, put yours on first, and then you will be able to help others. And there's a reason for that. Um, you know, obviously, if you're on a plane, you can panic, and you're not getting oxygen levels, and you could pass out rather quickly and really be of no use to anyone <laughs> if you're passed out. You know, how are you supposed to help? And, um, you know, in the same goes for each of us in our own journeys. You know, there's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself and making sure that you are as 100% as, as you can be. And it's important to take care of you. You are your most valuable asset. You are your most valuable and important priority in this life. Yes, we love our children. Yes, we love our partners, our parents, our friends. Of course, of course we do. We're not disconnected. We are one in the whole. But it's really important to also be able to take care of yourself. Okay, so that's a little side note. I could go on and on and about that. About that. You can probably tell. Um, but, it, you know, it is important, and I just want to put that out there. Um, the other thing that I have been receiving lately, and that is you know, really crucial for, for what is feeling like the energy that's happening in our world um, in the last few days and in this coming week is, is, again, how to keep going on your path and not being afraid, not being afraid of your own path of your own light, of your own power, of your own empowerment, whatever that means for you and to you and in your world. Um, you know, part of realizing that it's okay to take care of ourselves and that it's okay to know that we are, each of us, our own most valuable priority and um, asset, you know, as much as we care about others, we are also important, <laughs> you know, and, and, you know, and it's okay to be number one for yourself as much as you, you know, you love everyone else at the same time, you need to be able to take care of yourself and it's okay to love yourself. Part of why that's so important and how that ties into, you know, really stepping forward and not being afraid of putting your light out into the world and letting people see what you do, 
letting people see your offerings, letting people see, actually, I have a good idea for this project at work, or, you know, this is what I want to do my thesis on, or um, this is something I think that would be really amazing for our family or for our children to do. Part of not being afraid of, you know, really going forward and voicing your opinions and your thoughts in sharing and speaking your voice, your truth, part of that is very directly linked with how we think and feel about ourselves and realizing and recognizing that it's okay to take care of us. You know, because all, I'm, I'm not sure, um, I'm sensing some of you, you know, you, you're, um, in, your brain internal wheels will be clicking at this point. But I'll just make it crystal clear in that all of these things, when you really get down to it and you get to the heart of what is at the core of all of these you know, areas I'm talking about today, is that we are, it all comes down to love. It all comes down to love and how we think about ourselves, how and if we care about ourselves, how and if we feel worthy for our dreams, for our paths, to speak our truths. You know, it all comes down to love and, and really not being afraid of being who we are, authentically who we are. You know, for those of you who have known me longer, you'll know, I'm sure you must be able to see that I am stepping even more fully into my light, into my truth, not being afraid of who I am and my thoughts and my opinions, you know, my beliefs and, and what I've learned over the years, um, how I see myself and my place, but also, you know, how I can help as well, you know, really being much more visible and being willing to share that. Those who have known me longer will know this is an evolution me. You know, while I may have um, in the past been quite good at doing this in my own private life, sharing it on this grander scale, this is a big step up for me. And, you know, and I'm doing that more and more and more as I'm realizing time's a wasting <laughs> for me too. You know, if I'm really going to step into my purpose, which I am, um, you know, and I fully embrace that and I'm excited for it. Um, you know, and everything I'm being asked to do, which there's stuff I haven't shared um, publicly, but it's big. <laughs> this is big stuff, big stuff. And, um, you know, and I could easily be overwhelmed by it. You know, bless them. There has been, there's, you know, there have been people who have heard and been also been given the opportunity and you know and it's fine it's completely fine they're just not ready for that quite yet for themselves and that's totally okay that's completely okay because you know eventually we all get to where we need to go anyway you know and perhaps they'll um, I'm sensing they'll be asked to either you know help and step up in another way down the line or in a different way you know, so it's all completely okay. But there have been people who have heard what, you know, a few of us are being asked to do, and they've gotten overwhelmed. And I completely get it. I completely, completely understand. Um, because it is, you know, it's asking a lot of us. And, but this is part of what we signed up to. And that's the thing, when you really align with and you really get in alignment with your purpose, your journey, your talent, your gifts, your experience, how you can help make this world a better place in so many different ways, when you really get to grips with that and you really understand it for yourself, you are given opportunities as well to really step up. And yes, yeah, some of it can feel effing scary at first. Um, something I started doing about a year and a half ago, um, 
my ex-partner will, you know, he'll probably, he might have to think back, but I'm sure he'll, he'll attest to this if he thinks about it and remembers that about a year and a half ago, maybe it was two years ago, but anyway, around there, I was being asked to step up in really big ways. I was, um, sorry, I'm just moving this. You can't see me very well. See that? <laughs> There's a whole video where you, you're getting like here. Anyway, um, so there were, you know, a lot of, I have had, it's, there's been a series of steps where I've been um, up leveling or stepping up and stepping further. And there have been moments where I could have said, Oof, this is too much. One of those was, you know, changes in um, my business structure at the time. And it could have been, I could have easily have said, oh, this is too complicated. I'm not, forget it then. If that's what it requires, I'm not going to do it. But I, instead of saying that, which, you know, on the face of it could have been a re reasonable response, what I said to myself instead, and I said this to the, you know, universe at large, I directed it outwards and I said, okay, all right, I'm ready. And, and I stepped up to it. I stepped up to it, and I took it head on. I didn't let the complexity phase me. And, you know, there are still things all the time where I am being given the opportunities to really step up. And the more I go, the more those things could easily scare me. Um, it made me feel overwhelmed, but part of, part of the joy I find with this journey and in this world is really stepping into your purpose and not backing off from those opportunities that the universe and your spirit team or whatever you personally believe in, not backing off from those opportunities that you are being given, that your inner self is giving you, your higher self. Because they all know you can do it. They all know you can. And, you know, and if you do feel, feel overwhelmed at first or scared, that's totally okay. That's fine. Breathe through it. Breathe through it. Um, quick tip. Breathing, and I've spoken about this a little bit previously than before, so you may remember this, but... Breathe, um, sorry, fear and, um, and excitement are literally, actually, the exact same body response to a situation or things you hear or anything you may be experiencing. Excitement or fear are the exact same thing. The only difference is that when you are excited, you are remembering to breathe, and when you're afraid or frightened, it's really common to hold your breath. And so you get that tension, you get that clenching. Your heart can race a bit faster because it's having to pump harder because you're not breathing. You're not bringing in the oxygen. And oxygen is a, a natural relaxant. It raises your serotonin levels and you know all that good stuff. So remember, if you do have situations where you start to think, Ugh, I don't know quick, easy thing, and we talk about it so much, but it really is such a gift, is if you if you need to or want to, you can close your eyes and just breathe. Give yourself three deep breaths. Magic numbers are come in threes. <laughs> and, you know, and it immediately will start to calm you down. Try it. Check it out. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find what I'm talking about. Um, you know, and so you can breathe through your fear. You cannot be afraid of your own purpose and what you are meant to be doing in this world. And the thing is, we need you. Each of us needs you. Our world and our planet needs each of us. And each of us has such unique, beautiful, incredible gifts and talents and things that honestly make us unlike anyone else in the world. You know, it's kind of common in the world of coaching um, when you first start out, and a lot of people 
can feel like, ugh, you know, I, I, okay, how am I going to make myself stand out? How am I going to, because there, you know, some people may feel like there are so many coaches. But the thing is, for every coach, there's a, a particular statistic, and I forget the exact number. I'll look it up, and I'll, I'll, if I can, I'll share it with you in the next week video. But for every coach out there, there are literally tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions of people, in our world, in our, our world's population, who need help, who need help. So there are opportunities for each of us with whatever we're doing or want to do in the world. If you're an artist, I've heard, I have a lot of friends who are artists and musicians and always have been. Um, um, or I've always had friends who are, are more creative. Um, I'm an Aquarius. I have a lot of different friends. But anyway, that's, that's one part of it. And, you know, I've heard from some of my friends over the years of, yeah, but how is this painting really going to change the world? How is this song really going to make a difference? I dare each of you. <laughs> And, and lovingly encourage you to think about and be really truthful and honest if there is not at least one painting or film or um, photograph or song or po poem, poetry, that has not, you know, or book that hasn't touched you in some way and made a difference to your life. You know, so that's another thing. There are so many ways each of us can make a difference, and we need you. We need you in our world. So I highly encourage you, and I hope this is a help, you know, go out there. Breathe through your fear, because it's the exact same thing as excitement at the end of the day. And when you breathe through your fear, you can turn it to joy, just like that, literally. And, you know, to not be afraid of your purpose and to also know and really be able to believe and feel and see that it is okay to take care of yourself. It is okay. You are worthy. You are worthy of your own love. You are worthy of stepping into your truth. You are worthy. Uh, you are worthy. <laughs> Do not worry. Because you are worthy of being seen, you know, of stepping into your light. Because there is someone out there, always, who needs to hear, see, or experience what you have to offer, whatever it is. Whatever it is. So, thank you so much for being with me, everyone. And, you know, and I'm sharing and sending to you and sharing with you shining with you, I hope. So much love. I am so grateful in so many ways for each and every one of you, you know, and I'm right with you on the up-leveling. I'm doing it in my own ways as well, and each of these opportunities to up-level and to really step up and into the opportunities we're being given, each of those is an opportunity for us to shine and share even more greatly with the world with those who need us the most. You know, and you are worthy of this. You really, really are. You could do it. We need you to shine. We need your success. Believe in yourself, just as I believe in you. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. I'm thinking about you, and I hope you have an amazing week, a beautiful week. And just all the best. Thank you so much for you, everyone. Namaste. Love you. Bye.